Hello friends, welcome back in Cool IT Health. This is new video tutorial session for you. In this session, we are going to install Dev C++ IDE on Windows 10. Also, we will create a program and then we will see the compilation and running of that program. So guys, this is the agenda of this tutorial session. So this is the notepad. I have noted down all the steps that we are going to follow. I hope you are ready. Let's begin with the step one. In the step one, we need to download the dev C++ IDE exe file from the given link. And the same link given in the description of this tutorial for you. Pick that link and open your browser on your system and put this link in the address bar. Then press enter. Within second, you will be landed here and this is the official website to download the dev C++ IDE. As you can see, this is the fully featured C++ integrated development environment for Windows and lots of developers are using, students are using and it was first introduced in 1998. Since then, it has become more popular IDE to develop C++ program. You can see in front of this is the version which we are going to download that supports Windows 7, 8, 10 and 11 as well this is the blue big button and we need to click on it to download the exe here we go once you click you will be redirected to this website source forge and this source forge uh, providing you the exe and this is the source website for downloading this exe and now at this place on this green button we need to click on it within five seconds of our downloading will start here we go you can check on the left hand side of uh, your browser on the bottom side of your browser you will see the file is downloading and now the size is around 70.4 MB and which will not take much time so I'm leaving this thing behind I have already downloaded and extracted uh, this zip file so once you extract your zip you will get such kind of file now I'm Okay, taking back you here in on the exe so simply do a double click on the exe and you will see the this kind of message please wait while setup is loading this is unpacking whatever inside that exe package and then this prompt will appear you can choose the language whatever you want i'm going with the english and press ok and after that you will see this license agreement window here license agreement uh, details mentioned so guys go through it once and if you agree please click on this i agree button so i just clicked on then you will see this next window choose the component so i would suggest leave rest components as it is this is most recommended settings and the next window is that the installation location if you have a very less space on the C drive and you want to shift your installation to the different drive, so you can select the destination folder with the help of this browse button. If you have sufficient space, please proceed with the default path. I'm leaving this thing as it is and now going to press on the install button. Once you press on the install button, installation will take place and uh, this will take maximum two minutes for the complete installation. Till then we have to wait okay after the installation done you will see this message this installation is finished now you can simply launch by uh, putting a check mark on this checkbox and simply pressing the finish button and the very first window from the id you will see like this here this is asking you to select the language for your ide if you want to select different language, you can choose whatever language you want from this list and then simply press the next button. And at this place, you will see another three options. So if you don't like a default font, so we have the font drop down list. So we can choose the font that we like. So simply click on this drop button and uh, you will see a lot of like lot of fonts are there so select the appropriate one or uh, the font that you like 
okay this way and after that we have the next drop down for the color so we have the color choices as well for the fonts if you select this way so you will get the background color and the corresponding theme for the fonts or text or the code whatever you're going to write so we have the options for the monokai monokai light as well as visual studio dark i'm going with the visual studio dark also we have a theme for the complete ide you can see the sample preview just below it so i am selecting the blue veil and uh, we have the slate gray we have windows 10 theme and we have these uh, very cool themes so you can select any one of them and simply press next and finally you will see the message dev c++ configured successfully click ok and finally your ide home screen will appear in front of you now you can see this ide is very awesome and very nice look and feel and theme also applied on it and guys you can see here on the left hand side we have some important hot keys if you mostly like to work on the keyboard and if you want to know the shortcuts so these are the shortcuts that will help you to open save zoom run compile and clear when you are working with this also we have the top menu items there are a lot of things we will see most important things here and uh, you can note down this control s for running the program you can press the f10 for compiling you can press f9 and so on so guys uh, now we are at the step 2 id is ready for creating our first c c++ program now in this session i am going to create a c simple c program at this place so how we can proceed you can simply go to the file menu or you can click here create source file also you can click here on the right hand side so you will get the untitled file and this code editor window once you get it now this time you have to decide that you are going to write it or save it with .c or c++ extension so simply go to the file menu and save the file save as option so guys you will see this save as dialog and here we have the option to give the file name also we have a uh, save as type settings so in my case i am going to create this file as a dot c so i am going to write this c program in it so i am going to save with dot c extension also we have uh, the options to saving this file with dot c plus plus dot h extension and one more so this way i'm going to save it so simply uh, you can create any folder anywhere on your drive and simply select that folder and put all your files in one place so this will be very easy to work with the programs or you can switch to the different programs anytime or you can take the reference so i have just created a folder and i'm putting all my files here okay now file is saved and we got an extension with this file name now it's time to write a simple c code okay now you can see on the editor i have pasted a simple program here on this notepad you can increase the font size by pressing the control key home from the keyboard and using the scroll from the mouse so you can increase the font size as well at this place now guys we will see the controls to compile and run and also we will see the compile and run it together so we have all options here on this ide we have these statements here in this file okay guys now we are going to see the compiling and running this program and this is our step three this is very simple in this ide you can see on the top we have these options and you can see these four squares this is for compile button and this second one is the run button and the third button is for compile and run together also we have the shortcut key if you press the f9 then your file will compile and if you will press the f10 then you, you will get your file run and if you press f11 then your file first compilation will be done then your file will be running so now i'm pressing this button and you can see 
the compile log tab is active and there are some statements there now you can check it here processing c process source file and the compiler is taken which is dot gcc.exe which comes with this ide package so you don't need to add any other compiler and this compiler belongs to this exe once we done the installation compiler will be installed automatically and that will the path will be set and you can see the compilation results on the bottom errors 0 warning 0 and the output file name is generated program 2.exe and this program 2.exe is just a, a intermediate format that uh, uh, this ID will pick and execute this program. If you press the second button to run your program, you will see this console window, this black and white window and your output will be appear at this place. Now I'm changing a little bit here and uh, then I will compile this file again and and I will run it. Here we go. I just pressed the F9. So compilation is done without any error. Now I'm going to press F10. Once you press F10, you will see this black and white, uh, the CMD type window and you will see the output at that place. And guys, this is the very simple thing. So whatever the results of uh, your uh, program, that will redirect to that window, this command window. And if you press any key or he at this place, that window will disappear. And you will be back here on the editor. So you can make changes and then you can proceed. Now guys, we are at the step four. In the step four, we will see some important shortcuts and uh, some menu items and which are very helpful in our day to day coding practices. So if you go to the windows menu item, you can see you have a fully screen mode. If you want to prefer, you can expand the screen. You can set on the full mode, full screen mode, and you can do your coding. If you go to the A style menu, so if you are writing continuously writing and you want to format your file with proper indentation, then simply go to the A style menu press and that that will format your C program file. Now guys, we have a tools menu and we have a lot of things that compiler options. You can check it. Also, if you want to execute from the menu, so if you go here on the execute menu, you will see the compile, run, compile and run all options there. Okay, moving further. If you go to the view, so you have all toolbars active, right? This place, if you want to remove the tool from toolbar uh, header so you simply uncheck that tool or you want to bring that tools back so simply go to the view then toolbars then tick that option so these are the tools in one row and guys the search option is there you can search anything in your uh, file Android stop the options are as it is and we have uh, the comments and uncomment option so simply there is a shortcut key control plus so you can comment any line and multiple lines by uh, using the keyboard shortcut key or uh, you can uncomment as well or uh, you can use the menu as well also you can use the shortcut key for that so there are a lot of things and uh, i think this is a self-sufficient ide for c and c plus plus programmers so definitely you will enjoy this ide so guys this is all yours do some hands-on and this was all about the dev c, c dev c plus plus ide i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and and for now thanks for watching cool it help